Hello, I'm Christian, and I just wanted to do a review of Badass Dumbbells. I just want to say I'm not getting paid for this review. I bought these myself, um, and I always saw a little bit of good and bad reviews, but no detailed reviews on these dumbbells. Overall, I'm pleased with them. I've had them for a couple of weeks now and have gotten quite a bit of workouts with them in. Um, so just starting with the company, it's based in Canada. The owner is Steve. He's very confident in his product. Um, he offers a lifetime warranty on his plates and his dumbbells. Um, if they break, crack, or bend, they're made of 100% steel. Um, so they're more expensive than iron, which plates are usually made of cast iron, but this is steel, which is made of iron and carbon. Um, the dumbbells can go up to 225 pounds in 2.5 pound increments. Um, so I paid 16, about 1600, I think it was like 1590 something um, for 122.5 pound dumbbells. So two of these, um, two of these, and then 12, 12.5 pounders four tens, um, four fives, four 2.5s, and four 1.25 pounds. And then I also got another set of dumbbell handles only um, with the pins and then this stand. So all of that for me cost around $15.90. I live in California, so the shipping was around $200 um for 370 pounds worth of stuff so that isn't bad this stand is 70 pounds itself um for the price i think it's really reasonable like i mentioned it is steel it is more expensive than iron um so i'm going to start with the handles um the neural feels really nice um it's considered i looked at the neural i believe it's a volcano style so like there's mountain style, um, which is pointy on the edges, which feels like it's kind of stabbing your hands. And the volcano style knurling is the best because it's shaped like a volcano. So it comes up like a mountain and then it dips down on the bottom. So it has a nice grip on it. The knurl is definitely more on the aggressive side. I like this uh, due to, I'm, I get really sweaty palms when I work out. So the better the grip for me is good. Um, I don't know um, the millimeter size of the handle, but I'll be posting a picture of it right next to my 28 millimeter bar um, to, so you guys can see the thickness of the handle, but it feels pretty standard, like a pretty standard dumbbell to me. Um, the welding looks really good on the dumbbell. I like that the top is flat. So you can just set it down like this. You can take off the weights and you can just set it down and screw it in. The handle length, I measured them. I'll post pictures at the end of this about all the lengths of the plates and the handles and everything. But the handle length is 6.75 inches. Um, I saw that a few people were com um, complaining about the handle length. But if you look at Rogue's urethane coated dumbbells, their handle length is six inches. So this is about 6.75 inches from here to here. So you're talking about a 0.3 something um, difference on each side of your hand of an inch. So that's like nothing at all. Um, so I'm just going to bring it close up to the camera so you guys can see the knurling, the welding. So that's what it looks like, and that's the flat top with the, with the screw. Okay. And I am not worried about the durability of these handles at all. Um, they are super sturdy. So I weighed the handles. The so he said that the handles and the pins are supposed to be about ten pounds. So. Uh, both of my handles and the short pins were 10.2 pounds. So they were um, both within a 0.2 pound difference. And then the handles with the long rods, um, since I need to um, have um, the longer rod in order to get up to a 122.5 pound dumbbell um, with 
the handle and both of the long rods, it was about 11.5 pounds, just to give you an estimate. So the only thing that um, kind of bothered me at first, but it, it doesn't really bother me, um, is that the screws don't um, go flush in. So if you screw in, and as you can tell, this isn't a quiet exchange. It's, it's kind of loud, but it is steel going in with steel. So as you can see, Um, there is a little bit of space in between there. That's the most the screw will go in. So when you're doing uh, shorter weight increments, um, you can hear the rattling of the... Of... So here, I'll give an example. When you do um, a, a really small weight, like 1.25, um, let's see how it is. So that's the most it goes in and then you can see there's there's wiggle room on that plate so if you're probably doing like cleaning jerks um, you're gonna hear that clanging against the metal but um, generally I do more bodybuilding exercises so like you're gonna hear very little rattling when you're just doing your normal pressing movements um, stuff like that okay. And then that is only for the smaller weight increments. So once you get up to 10 pounds each side, um, which is 30 pound dumbbell, um, it's gonna sit flush against the dumbbell and you're not gonna have any of that rattling anymore. Okay, I wanted to actually show you the pins as well. So the pins, as you can see, they're they have a little, um, rubber piece right here or foam piece so when you screw it in it locks in tight um, the edges of this are knurled as well and then here's the here's the brand right there and then this is just the sticker right here which I don't have an issue with at all uh, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing but it looks old school and I kind of like it and um, I'm just throwing weights on here on and off so I don't really care how how they look as long as they function good which they have um, so next I'm gonna um, go to the weights um, so the weights came really dirty actually um, so the and they have chipped paint and then the edges around them aren't, um, aren't, aren't the smoothest. And then the pin holes aren't the smoothest in the weights as well. Um, so if you have like a standard barbell, I don't know how comfortable I would feel loading this on a standard barbell, but I don't I have an Olympic size barbell. So I use um, two inch weights. So the 12.5 pounds, they're within 0.2 pounds of their advertised weights. And then the 10 pounds and under, all of them are within 0.1 pound increment um, within their weight. So I'm really impressed actually with how well they're able to um, make it as close to the weight as possible. And as I said earlier about the paint job and everything, um, I saw somebody who was really handy. They actually sanded down the paint. They put a nice real coat of paint on it but I don't really care about that. I'm probably gonna grab these, throw these on here, chip the paint up anyways and everything. But if that's what you wanna do, you can also do that if you're pretty handy. For your um, reference, I am five foot 10 and 200 pounds. So, so for looking at the handle, um, so you guys can just see my hand on there. Um, there's not much space on each side, which um, and the width doesn't bother me at all. At first, the 12.5s, the, they are pretty large. So 
Um, they did annoy me at first, but honestly, um, I got over it really quick. I'm going to post uh, more videos after showing me doing movements with the 12.5 pounds on the dumbbell because um, they are quite wide, but once I got used to working out with them, I noticed that it didn't even hinder any of my range of motion or movement or anything. Now if you're shorter than 5'10 and you maybe have a shorter range of motion, then it might get in the way. But for me, it at least didn't get in the way of any, um, any of my exercises. So about them not screwing in all the way. So the only um, one that'll let you screw in all the way are the 10s. So the 10s will sit flush. The fives won't. <clears throat> I recommended to the owner um, to actually give more 2.5s because when you sit two 2.5s on each side, it'll sit flush but when you do a five on each side it won't sit flush it has a little bit of rattle so i recommended that and it goes for less screwing as well um, when you're changing your weight increments which i like so i'm just gonna do a really quick um demo on just how how to change this um so I, I think it's really easy. It's not that hard at all. I will do the 12.5s to show you um, how large the 12.5s are. Uh, the 10s, they're pretty standard. You won't have an issue with how bulky they are or anything. So first you just screw in like that and then I just get both hands and just go as fast as I can for the next. And then I just tighten it up right there. And then I just flip it over, grab a 12.5, and then I just screw it in a little bit, and then go out the So that didn't take that long at all. And then I'll show you guys the width of the 12.5. But as I said, I did dumbbell curls with the 12.5. I did everything with the 12.5, and it... It doesn't hinder any movement that I noticed. I'll show, I'll bring it up to the camera, closer to the camera so you can see just the size of it. And again, I'll be um, posting uh, more measurements after this video. There'll be photos with um, the measurements on each one. And then, so in order to unscrew it, you're just going to grab the handle because this is really flush. So when you try to, usually when you try to unscrew this, you sometimes have a really hard time. I just grab the handle, grab the lowest weight and just spin it like that. And then just spin it and then you'll see it tilt over like it's loose and then that means it's out. So um, I did buy two handle sets because I do like to super set, like I said. So I always have two pairs of dumbbells just ready to go. And then I was actually going to show you the plate right now. Um, just, just to tell you like the quality of it. Like I said, I don't care. I'm not loading this onto my barbell or anything. Um, it's just for this, but... Um, this is just so you can see this is definitely the worst plate that I have so I just wanted to show you guys this one So as you can see the paint is chipped the holes a little bit uneven and then the edges um, They're they're a little bit uneven as well, but um, this is the worst plate I have so um let me grab another 12.5. This is just a random 12.5. I don't need them. <clears throat> so this is another 12.5, but this one, the hole looks really good, actually. And then the edges, they look pretty even. Okay. So to me, it isn't um, hard at all. Um, it is an adjustable dumbbell, so you're going to be doing this with all adjustable dumbbells. But the ones with the end cap like these, these are the best because this can easily rest on your thigh with... I was pressing 90 plus pounds the other day, and they can easily rest on your thigh without hurting your thigh um, like the spin locks do.
the screwing it is like a little bit of an inconvenience but that's what you pay for space saving um, so my gym is really small uh, you're in it right now so this goes tucked in a corner um, this stand is really nice as well it has a flat top it has storage pegs this is their stand as well which I really like I just wanted to um, show you this um, compared to the power block actually so I'm gonna grab the power block so I have a power block EXP and then so this is so you can see this is just a five pound handle though it doesn't have the screws in it so this is just so you can see the width compared to the power block okay and then I'll show you right now with 50 pounds loaded on this. I'm just going to do um, tens, two tens on each side, and then the handle's 10 pounds, so that'll equal 50 pounds. So here I'll stand this up right next to the power block so you can see the difference. The, the weight is a little bit shorter right here and I'm not using 12.5. It's going to be a little bit wider um, but I like using the 210s instead. And then here's just so you can see the outside. But the thing about the power blocks that I don't like um, is that you can't do a lot of movements that I like doing like the goblet squat when you hold your dumbbell right here and you squat down you can't do the tricep extensions um, with the power blocks where over your head with just one dumbbell uh, you can't do pullovers with power blocks when you're on the bench for your lats and your chest um, you can't do those with power blocks but you can do this with a traditional dumbbell. That's why I decided to get these is because I really like the feel of a traditional dumbbell more. I wanted to go over the stand a little bit as well. Um, the stand, like I said earlier, is 70 pounds. It's super sturdy. It can hold up to 450 pounds because these dumbbells go up to 225 pounds. So this stand can hold two 225 pound dumbbells. Um, I really like the storage pegs on the side. It is super convenient um, having those and just being able to switch out dumbbells. And then the, the top is flat, which is really nice. I'm sure a lot of people can actually make something like this at home if this is a little bit too expensive for you. Um, but the top is flat, which makes it really nice to adjust your dumbbells. Um, I think it's the best stand out there compared to Titans, because it has a little bit of slope, so it's gonna be hard to change your dumbbells. Uh, Power Blocks has a little bit of slope, um, and then Iron Masters doesn't have the weight pegs, I believe, but I'm not positive, um, because I really like these just to easily take on and off the weights. Um, so overall, I uh, recommend this product. It's a huge space saver. Um, it's easy to change weights. Uh, yes, it is a little bit more time consuming, but that's why I bought two sets of handles so I can have two sets of weights ready at all times um, to just uh, do my supersets if I decide to do supersets. Um, and they come with a lifetime warranty. I don't think you can uh, really beat that. Um, they s seem extremely durable and sturdy. And I did drop it a few times and I wasn't worried at all about um, the integrity of these. Um, as I said, I'm gonna, um, after this video, you'll see a few videos of me working out with the 12.5s just so you can see um, how bulky they are. But like I said, it didn't hinder my um, ability to work out or anything. Um, and then I did measurements of all the weights and the um, dumbbells and I took pictures of them just in case um, you're interested in seeing that as well. Thank you for watching.